Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. And I think this is it. This is gonna be the final part here. The final boss is at hand, King DDD! Well, maybe not the final part. There's still some like mini games and stuff I'd like to show off and stuff like that. And the uh, King DDD is King DDD. There Yeah, he's just King DDD. He's just the same King DDD as any other Kirby game, basically. He's got this floaty thing. Uh, which is extremely predictable, and yeah, as you can see there, and when he jumps, he uh, makes some stars. When he sh does that thing, he also makes some star stars that you can throw back at him. Uh, when he swings his hammer at you, he also gives you some stars to throw back at him. Oh, I took a hit there! That's surprising, I mean, come on, this guy is pretty easy. At least for a final boss, he's easy. Let you go up there. Yeah, the trick with his floaty thing is just to lead him away from you and then go somewhere where he's not going to be, basically. Um, he'll try and suck you in like that, as you can see. Uh, that's really about it. So, how's it going, everyone? How was your day? Um, this is the end of the game, as you can see. Another classic Kirby tune here. It is memorable and timeless, and King DDD is almost dead already. And I only took two hits. Yay! Woo! Level 8? What? What is this? Blasphemy! Yeah, I knew this was coming. King DDD appears to be warning us of this. What's going on? Why, why is he warning us? What's? Why are you stop preventing us from putting the star rod back at the Fountain of Dreams? Oh my god. <gasps> What's going on? Oh, panic! Panic everywhere! Grab the star rod! Hurry! Uh, thank you, King DDD? Anyway, this is like a side shooter thing, like a Gradius type of game. Press the B button to shoot your star rod power, and I believe this guy's name is Nightmare, if I'm not mistaken. And, oh, uh, and all you have to do is hit him with your stars. This this boss really reminds me of a boss named Kablua from Kirby Superstar Ultra. And I think the... Uh, whoa, that was a tricky one. They kind of crossed their pattern there. And from Kirby... Really, I believe it was Kirby's Dreamland for the Game Boy was where Kablua originated. Kablua is that blimp thing. Blimp boss. It's got a smile. It shoots uh, torpedo Ted's at you, if you recall. Uh, you might not recall. I don't know. Oh, it's already dead. Woo! Grab the warp star. Woo -ha! Second part of the boss. Here we go. What is that thing in the background? Ah! Alright, th this, this is the big part of the boss, I should say the main part of the boss. Um, I'm at two lives, or should say two lives, so I'm just gonna kill myself here, just to make sure I can beat him, so yeah, kill me, thank you. Uh, when you die, you just restart back at this boss, and I've got 20 lives to go, so there's no way that I'm going to die here, or I should say, lose all my lives here. Uh, he's only weak when he opens up his, like, robe, or whatever that darkness is, that cape that's around him. Uh, he takes more damage when you shoot a star at him than if you would just swing your wand at him. So try and hit him with stars if you can. Like, stay further away from him, like that, and try and, try and time your shots so when he opens up his cape, he'll take a hit from your star. And this boss will be over quickly. When he does that, just duck inside a corner and you'll be safe. Um, strange thing about this boss is with the star rod power, um, you don't, you can't glide, or I should say you can't float. So you can't jump over him when he does that uh, dive bomb attack thing. Uh, oh shoot, I just jumped right in that star. I would have been safe if I would have stayed on the ground there. And how am I staying in place when the whole thing is moving around me? Like, you see the floor is moving underneath my feet? 
how am I standing on top of that? I should move with it like a treadmill. This makes no sense, but I'm questioning the game logic, and that's not a good thing. Uh, one more hit should do it, even if I just hit him with my star rod, and that's the end of the game! Okay, that was a little creepy and disturbing. Did you see his face there? Kirby has those kinds of moments, I have to say, for being a cute game. 100% complete! Oh! And now I can choose the extra mode from the start menu. The extra mode is the main game, except you get three lives to beat it with. Or I should say three health to beat it with. Oh man, I just made it a crescent moon! Oh, So I guess that's how the crescent moon started as Kirby. <laughs> Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the Star Rod. But King DDD never <laughs> didn't mean any harm. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. It all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. The nightmares rolled the currents of the Fountain of Dreams, wrecking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. King DDD hit the Star Rod, the power source of the Fountain of Dreams. He was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. Borrowing King DDD's power, Kirby managed to defeat the nightmares. Now that the Star Rod is returned to the Fountain, everyone's dreams will return. Yay! So fluff up your pillow and get it ready for a good night's sleep. So thanks to Kirby and I, you can now sleep easy with great dreams. And it's time for the credits. During the credits, it's just going to be showing off the bosses. Yeah, that's really about it. Then they're going to be showing off a wide variety of techniques that you could use to kill the bosses. Like, as you can see, the computer there is using the, the blade attack, or whatever you want to call it, the, to boomerang his attacks right back at him. Evidently, paint roller there is weak against this uh, spike pretty good even through the ground. Um, some of the things that Paint Roller shoots at you, like that car there, you can just suck in to change into the wheel. Um, if you get the mic power, I believe you can get the mic power from that. Uh, or the sound power, whatever you want to call it. I always forget the names of them, I swear, because they change from game to game. Um, that's also a pretty good power to use on him. Uh, as you can see, you can steal their powers by uh, sucking in their, some of their attacks. Uh, Crackle there, I believe, has gives out high jump critters. And how did he get up there with the tornado? Or maybe he just uh, got up there by floating and avoiding the uh, uh, Crackle Jr. that transformed into Crackle. Up oh, there's the high jump guy. So now you can just hop right through him like that, just like I did. There's Heavy Mole. And uh, Heavy Mole just loves to dig through the ground just like moles do. Wow, that ball power is really good for it if you got the good timing, I guess. So there is a use for the ball power if you're good at using it. Heavy Mole there is definitely a good digging device. Miner should use them. I mean, rather than, you know, pickaxes and shovels and stuff like that, just get a Heavy Mole and you should be good to go. There's Maiden Knight. They're having an epic sword battle. It is awesome! By the way, Green Green's music is playing in the background, if you can't hear that. Oh yes, all rights, including copyrights of the game, were by HAL Laboratory and Nintendo, not by PKGAM. I just did the walkthrough on it to help people out as well as entertain them. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be showing you a little bit a little bit of extra stuff, like I'm going to press start here, to, and I'll be able to go to the title screen, and over here you're going to see on my uh, save file here, 100% there, if I click start game, then go to extra, you play with half your life bar, so instead of six hits you have three, but the game is exactly the same, so I'm not going to be showing this, so follow my walkthrough for the normal mode, and you'll be able to do the extra mode just fine. Um, sound tests, 
is obviously to play the sounds of the game and music and stuff like that. You get the idea, as well as sound effects. Uh, erasing a file, obviously, is to erase your game file. You don't want to do that. Um, I've already showed you the quick draw, which is the, uh, like, western standoff that you have to press the A button quickly along with the timing. I already showed you Bomb Rally, and uh, that was like the hot potato. Kirby's Air Grind was like the grinding mode, uh, where you press the E button to grind on the rail to go faster, and you have to let go, and there's those spiky rails. The boss endurance thing is uh, the, the new mode here. You have to beat all eight bosses with only six lives, which I think... I should do on the next part, actually. So, that's what I think I'm gonna be doing. Or at least I'll be trying to do. So, I'll see you then. Hope you enjoy. Um, on second thoughts, I think I'm actually gonna leave this because it doesn't really pay to show off all the bosses again. I already showed you how to beat them before, so there's really no point to show them again. But uh, there is one extra sub-game that you can unlock. Um, when you go through the extra mode and beat all the nightmares, that's all the bosses. You don't have to 100% the extra mode. You'll unlock... I'll, I'll go to the save file here. You'll unlock a mode called Made a Nightmare. And that is the exact same game again. Except this time you play as Made a Nightmare. I mean, <laughs> as Made a Knight, excuse me. Um... His controls are basically the same as Kirby with a sword, like you got the slide thing, you got the dash, and you can fly, except his flight is a little bit more uh, swoopy, like a bat, as you can see. And I'm not going to be covering this mode, but I will go through one stage. He's a lot faster than Kirby too, I should add. Um, he gets through stages pretty swiftly, and he can also break any block with his sword. So if you want 100% his mode, go right ahead. But there's a problem, and this is exactly why I'm not going to be doing this for the walkthrough, is because you can't save your game on this mode. You can go through the entire game, but you can't save it. So that is not very walkthrough friendly. I would have to beat the entire game, or I should say this entire mode with Meta Knights 100%. Uh, on one run without stopping for the walkthrough, and that wouldn't be very fun, uh, so to speak, because I already did, you know, the game before, so you already know how to beat the game. So yeah, it's the same game for the third time. So it's up to you if you want to beat this mode yourself. Uh, and that's about it for this walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. You know what? Kill me! Kill me! Yeah!